Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. It's been a very, very, very long time since there's been an undisputed heavyweight champion. None in the four belt era, I don't even believe. But what do you see there? Because that is, A, a special card to be on, like you have said already in this show. But it's just a, it's just a good moment to see that actually happening. And obviously, his, his excellency is the guy to do that. But how do you see that fight? Because it's pretty awesome. It's a great fight, you know. I'm I'm actually really excited to watch that fight. Um, you know, I feel like I feel like both of the boys have, you know, Usyk and Fury. I feel like they can both win the fight. Like they both have the tools to win the fight. They're both smart, great fighters. I feel like it's going to be a different type of heavyweight fight. You know, you know, with the ones that you're on the edge of your chair, like someone's going to get knocked out at any second. I don't think it's. I I feel like this is going to be one of the most punches thrown in. You know what I mean? In a heavyweight fight for a long time, because I just feel like that's who's going to steal the rounds. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's such a chess match. Like, I, I'm I'm so just even the way Fury's going to come out and use his range if he's going to bounce a lot. Like, I, I've noticed he's been bouncing a lot more on his toes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and that's what he has to do. You know, he has to keep bouncing. Because if you just stand flat-footed with Usyk, man, he's going to be able to find his range and pick you off. So, and Fury's got so much ring IQ, you know. I could sit here and just talk the pros and cons all, all day. Like, I just feel like it's an it's an awesome fight. You know, it's great for boxing because it, it's going to be a chess match. You know what I mean? It's not like there's a lot of heavyweight fights that just are big bombers and they're just like you just – it takes the, the, the light off the actual boxing skill because there's just big – bastards in the ring trying to knock each other's head off you know what i mean but i feel like this is going to be more of a more it, it, people are going to see the science of the sport you know so i'm uh i'm excited for it hey eh? I'm, I'm pumped it is an interesting one i think fury maybe after nagano although he got the victory he wasn't too red hot i think uh maybe there's a bit of a redemption here to really show that he is the elite sure. level that he, that he says he is. Yeah. But, I mean, then you got the size difference and he's lost weight and you've been in there with Fury. What's he like actually to be in the ropes with and like feel his weight and his pressure when you're like pushing him back? Um, Yeah, man, he, he's, he's taller than I thought. He yeah. is so long. You know what I mean? Like his arms, they're just like, I'm six, two, he's six, nine. Like, the, the way if he uses his range the way he should, he he can win the fight. You know what I mean. But in saying that, you know I'm not that tall. I don't know how he feels. Or oh, it's just such a it's such a good fight. You know, like I'm I'm really curious to to see who wins, and I want to see how they both approach to beating each other and their game plans and who who sort of executes their game plan better. You know what I mean. But they're both, they're both taking this fight very serious. You know, when I went over to Spa with Fury, it was a great experience. And, and you know, he, he seemed like he was switched on. You know, it, it didn't seem like a a Fury that walked into the Nagani fight. It, it seems like a he wants to win this. You know what I mean? And then there's, you know, you think that just, he's a fucking animal. You know what I mean? I, I even got told, like, I think last night I'd done an interview and the interviewer said that he used to miss the birth of his child because he was training. Hey, that's that's serious business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like these guys, you don't you don't get days like that back. You know what I mean? Like you gotta think, if I'm missing the birth of my child and I'm at this fucking gym, you best believe like, wow, well, we are training through pain. Like we are pushing our bodies to the limit. Like that's not a that's not a little deal, you know. It might sound like a little deal to people, but for for men to miss out on the child their child's birth and stay in the gym, they're not wasting time. They're not they're not doing easy sessions, you know. You don't miss fucking ch the birth of your child for an easy session, you know. They they're trying to earn it, and and you know so things like that. Just hearing things like that, the sacrifices they're making, it makes me even more pumped for the fight because I know these boys want to win.